Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,164th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Traders, midday, Wednesday, interesting. I figured I would do a very quick video to get you an update. Please listen carefully. We know that futures trading is extremely risky, can cause substantial financial loss. It's not trade, not suitable for all trading accounts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, disclaimer done. Don't trade if you don't have money and don't no risk. Traders, look at this chart. This is Dow Jones Transportation Average, okay? We have been long. Omni has been green for six days. We have done well in the markets. We've been catching shorts in gold. We've been catching longs in the ES, the NASDAQ. That's been doing well since... Wednesday or into Thursday and then Sunday and then Monday and then Tuesday and we were long today and we had a nice short in gold but this is starting to worry me I want you to look at this chart I want you to recognize what could happen yes we still have a green on it hasn't flipped to red so I'm not trying to scare anybody listen carefully we are still bullish however as Wednesday afternoon starts to roll in there is a scenario we need to be careful of and this is it we are going to look at this chart and say right about here, the market changed complexion for a little while, broke down, and a new move started from here forward. So I'm going to divide the chart and say, this is our new market. Let's divide it and say that the, the market starts here for this latest move, right? And it does. So from here, you'll recognize the tranny goes up, it makes a new high, and then comes off. Goes up, puts in a day or two of new highs, comes off. Does a three-day run for new highs, comes off. Does a four-day run, puts in new highs, comes off a little bit. This one, not so bad, at least it put in four days. Here, four-day run, then it comes off. Here we are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's put in a new high. It is supposed to start to come off based on this scenario. Looking back at the chart, there's only one other occasion that we had seven days in a row before as it put in a new high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we had one down day. After the down day, granted, it went up again for a couple of days and then we spilled off. What I'm noticing, though, is that that worked here for seven days in a row. And this, my friends, is seven days. So is it going to come off? Omni hasn't turned yet. Omni's getting a little bit bearish as of last night into today, but it's not bearish by any means. This chart may be very telling. Now, let's look back before this line, and we'll notice that three days up, and it came off. Three days up, and it came off. One, two, three days up, it didn't come off. It went up for five, but then it came off for a couple of days. Three days up, and it came off. Here, we put in a new high, and it came off. Here, you went one, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit odd, but it didn't reach seven, but you'll notice it came right off. So what I'm saying is we've just had seven days, and what I have seen lately, you don't last that long before just some kind of a pullback starts. So please be careful. If we do not close, listen carefully. If we do not close very strong and a strong Dow, strong tranny, strong NASDAQ, strong S&P. If we do not close like that today, take a tip from Uncle Oscar. This thing's coming off tomorrow. So be careful. We hope it closes higher. We have some long positions. Thankfully, they're not too bad right now, but we've got some long positions on. Um, in fact, we're break even in the S&P. We might actually be up a few ticks. And the NASDAQ were down, but you know the NASDAQ can be at this moment in time, midday. But I just want to warn you, traders, it doesn't usually go much further without some form of a pullback. We will do more analysis this evening. If we settle strong, this gets negated, but it doesn't look like it's going to settle strong at this point in the day. Traders, pull your own chart, do your own homework, look at this tranny, look what I am referring to with this. Once it goes and makes a high, especially after a few days, it seems to get tired. Let's just hope this one's going to be different, okay? What would make it different once again? NASDAQ, ES closes strong today. You get the tranny and the Dow to close a little bit strong today, and maybe this just continues on. If it does not, 
Take it again. A little tip from Uncle Oscar here. You better look at the short side. Most likely tomorrow, we'll play it one day at a time. Traders, thank you so much for coming to the video 1164. It's midday. I'm going to get it out for you right now. Make sure you watch it and then do your own homework. Always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Thank you so much, traders, and I will see you tonight with another video.